Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love and life reading for um, Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Capricorn, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Excuse me, I just ate. Um, roles can be reversed. What this means is this could be something that you're doing or going on around you. This could be, you know, something your person is doing, going on around them. If you're in a relationship. Um, this could be, you know, a family member, a family member, a friend, a coworker, a boss, a neighbor. This could be in your immediate environment, your town, your city, your overall community, or your neighborhood. Um, again, take what resonates, leave the rest. Definitely can be something from the past coming back around uh, to be dealt with and healed. Something currently going on, and so I've been told my readings can tend to be very future predictive. So it can definitely be something coming towards you in the future. So near future. So that would be anywhere from like six months. Or less so maybe a little over but not much okay if you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation my email is in the description box below um, I do offer ten dollars off for first-time clients who get their first reading with me um, definitely take advantage of that also um, if there's going to be an extended to this reading that will be in the description box below as well as the comment section below um, also I'm doing a freebie Friday again on December 16th it will start at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it will go until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you have to be a subscriber, so um, hopefully I'll get to see you there. All right, so let's see. What is going on for Capricorn? What's going on for Capricorn, please? Okay. You have the hourglasses. Time is of the essence, so something has a deadline to it. Now, that could be involving work. It's very pressing is what I just heard. Hold on. What else? For Capricorn. What else? <coughs> okay. Mm, okay. Well, first of all, bottom of the deck, you have the chalice. It says uh, rejuvenation and fulfillment. Um, here's the thing. You are not going to get the validation that you need from another person. Well, how, how do I say this? Other people can validate your feelings, your ideas, your perspective, you know, things like that, right? However, um, first and foremost, and most importantly, is that validation of your feelings, your experiences, your ideas, what have you, has to come from within you first, which is also the, the most important place, okay? So I feel like you're pouring back into yourself, which is really good. So that's good, right? But you're also not, you could be masking your feelings right now. For the Harlequin, it says true feelings are masked, or maybe you feel like somebody else is. But I don't know if you can really tell if they are or not. But the next cards that came out is the Mystic Circle. Your abilities will be enhanced. So whatever your spiritual gifts are. Um, and or your, you know, more earthly gifts. Like some people are really good at opening businesses. Some people are really good at, I don't know, taxes. Some people are really good at, you know, creating different things. Or, you know, this could also be your spiritual gift gifts because it says mystic circle. Or being enhanced, right? It's only a matter of time. But with that, you might have with the satire here, you might have some rivalry and indulgences. So what that means is you're going to be challenged to either misuse your gifts or to indulge in well you could be someone might challenge your gifts and people can do and say whatever they want you have nothing to prove to anybody except to yourself right um but also someone could tempt you to indulge in misuse of your gifts rather that could be you know committing fraud tax tax evasion um, that would be a misuse of a gift if you're good at taxes or money, right? Or somebody could try to get you to um, misuse your spiritual gifts, okay? Please note that all of that is a test because with greater ability comes greater responsibility and you will be tested if you can withstand that. 
to not indulge in that. Also with the rivalry, um, I almost feel like a competition or somebody wants to be in competition with you or feels like or feels like you want to be in competition with them or there could be some form of jealousy somebody has around you. Um, you know, again, when you are leveling up in your life or you're living your best life to whatever capacity that is for you or you're just doing overall generally well or just, you know, overall just happy with shit in your life, people can be jealous of that. You know, or if your gifts are expanding or your finances are expanding or maybe you got that pro big promotion, people can be jealous of that. And I feel, I don't feel like it's necessarily malicious at this point from in the reading. I don't necessarily feel it's malicious. I feel it's, you know, jealousy. And, you know, we, in the spiritual community, there are a lot of people who talk about, oh, low vibes or like, um, you know, we're not, no, that's not what I want to say. A lot of people talk about positive vibes only or whatever, right? Well, that's basically spiritually bypassing yourself because you're not acknowledging that you have real human emotions like jealousy, anger, frustration, sadness, sorrow, disgust is one too, you know, things like that. And when you spiritually bypass yourself, you're not, what do you think, where do those emotions go? They stay where they're at. They're not dealt with. They're not processed. And they fester. Right? Or this could be somebody else, you know, around you. So what I'm saying here is there could be someone around you who is jealous of whatever your come up is. Again, it could be financial. It could be spiritual. I mean, definitely you are getting um, enhancements in your spiritual gifts. But it could also be financial. Or maybe you're just overall just generally happy in your life. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, a matter of time. You know what I mean? Or it's been time and now it's finally coming in because guess what? You've done the work. You've done a lot of shadow work. You've done a lot of processing, a lot of healing. And for anybody who tells you that healing, oh, you just need to heal, you know, that shit ain't for every. I mean, I wish it for everybody. I wish everybody would do the healing work, right? And it's a process that's not linear and there is no end destination to it. It's a lifelong journey. It's a lifelong process, right? But when people talk about, oh, you just need to heal. Yeah, it's an ugly process, okay? It's not, it's not easy. Because what you're doing is you're really just taking a really hard look at yourself and why you are the way you are. What you have done or haven't done in your decisions and in your life that has brought you to this point in time. And you're taking accountability and responsibility for whatever that is, right? And if it wasn't by your hand, you know, so to speak, you're processing whatever was done or not done. You know what I'm saying? And that is not easy. So, you know, acknowledging that you have real human emotions is not a bad thing. Okay? There is such a thing as toxic positivity. Because it gets, again, it gets you to spiritually bypass your own emotions and, and negate them and invalidate yourself basically. So I feel like you're not doing that, but you could be met with somebody or cross paths with someone who is that way, who's positive vibes only, love and light only bullshit, right? They don't acknowledge that they have actually, you know, real human emotions and they don't process them, but they, they are very judgmental and judge people for having real human emotions. Okay. They may try to get you to indulge in their ideology of you know whatever that is about again positive vibes only right or love and light only right no or they might tempt you to misuse your earthly gifts or your spiritual gifts here be mindful of that because i feel like that's going to be a test okay let's see people and also too when you're doing well in life or you're doing better, or you're moving along, whatever that is for you. And people, I feel like, okay, you're going to have people that are going to tell you, oh, you think you're better than everybody else. That's not necessarily true. Just because you're doing better in your life, and you're working hard, or you're being successful, or you're leveling up in your relationships, or you have a, just a regular happy life, whatever that is, it's not that you don't have any concerns or issues that come up. You do, but you, you're you being more adjusted 
more, uh, you know, well-adjusted person and you're not, you know, spiraling out of control, right? You may have people who come to you and or maybe they're jealous, but they could come to you and say, well, what, you think you're better than everybody else now? I don't feel like you feel that way. You've just, you've done the work or you're doing the work and it's a process, right? Don't let anybody tempt you into misusing your your gifts and whatever capacity those are. Okay? Don't let anybody tempt you into, into doing them. Why is the hourglass here, please, for Capricorn? Yeah, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So this talks about not giving or it not being balanced. Six is the number of balance here. Right? It's time for you, Capricorn. To potentially see that whatever you were giving to or, or and or are giving to or about to give to, it may not be as balanced or fair as you think it is. This is a Taurus energy, could be Virgo, Capricorn, like yourself, or Libra energy for me as a reader. But, you know, it's like people want you to do and give to them with them not giving anything in return. Now, if you are doing that out of the goodness of of your heart with pure joy in your heart and you don't want nothing back that's one thing but it's when people are expecting you to give and not get anything in return for your gifts your abilities whatever it is that's not balance that's not an equal energy exchange okay and then if you don't give that to them then they want to get mad basically capricorn you don't owe nobody a fucking thing Period. Nor do you owe them an explanation. It's simple. Why is the mystic circle here, please? For Capricorn. Why is the mystic circle here for Capricorn? Yeah, eight of pentacles. This is regarding your work. Maybe you are in the spiritual business. Okay? And make no mistake, maybe you're a healer. Maybe you're a reader like myself. Maybe you're whatever. Maybe you're in the spiritual community. It's also a spiritual business. A lot of people don't like to think of it like that. And a lot of people like to think that healers, tarot readers, psychics, and mediums should just do everything and give everything away for free. Or healers or, or energy workers or Reiki masters should do everything and give it away for free. Or magical practitioners, whatever it is, that people should just give it away for free. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> this is also, yes, we are healers, right? True. However, we also have to eat. <laughs> and other people get up and go to their jobs and they get paid. This is no different. It's still a business. So you're working really hard to, you know, maybe you're opening a spiritual business. And I see that it's going to be very, um, lucrative for you make sure that is balanced because you go from the six of pentacles reverse to the eight of pentacles in the upright you have to make that decision you have the, the decision to what you're about to do and i feel like the decision is to open up a spiritual business potentially it, the time is is almost upon you to make that decision okay please know that you will have rivalry well not rivalry well people may try to rival with you Pay them no mind, okay? If you know what you're doing, you're doing it for the right reasons. You're being guided by your your spirit guides, your ancestors, whomever you believe in a higher power, the divine source, God, whomever that is for you, okay? As long as you are, you know what you're doing is coming from a, a place of pure inten good intentions, then that's all that matters. And people can be mad and hateful and jealous and want to rival and have competition with you don't give it to them, right? Don't indulge that type of energy. Because it, it would be a waste of time and a waste of energy. That could be better use and better, you know, put to better use in, you know, doing your business stuff. Okay? I mean, I don't really feel like this is love. I don't feel like this is a love reading, Capricorn. I feel like this is mostly about work. What is this? Maybe you're worried about opening it because there are a lot of spiritual people out there, or spiritualists. Now, you also have to be careful because there are a lot of fake 
frauders and scammers and two-bit charlatans and fake spiritualists out there. Okay? You don't want to be one of those. Okay? Don't be one of those. Do it for the right reasons. Okay? There's nothing wrong with charging for your services. Period. Okay? Do it for the right reasons. Whatever those are for you. And please have a code of ethics. Have a code of ethics of what's appropriate. Okay? What you will and what you will not do. And stick to that code of ethics and do it with the utmost integrity. Okay? What is this satire about? Yeah, Ace of Swords in the reverse. So, I'm telling you, somebody... I, I, I feel like I'm talking to a very spiritual Capricorn, which I feel like every zodiac sign is spiritual. I do. Okay. I feel like I'm talking to a Capricorn who's very talented um, business-wise, but also very gifted spiritually. And you are Mystic Circle and the Eight of Pentacles. Right? I feel like you're about to open a spiritual business. Please, please, please do not let somebody who may be jealous or who may be, you know, uh, a competitor even maybe. Because here's the thing. Everybody can, if you're doing tarot, example, if you're doing tarot, right? There are, I don't even know how many, there's thousands, maybe millions of tarot readers on YouTube or in the world, probably billions, right? But no, there's no one who does it the way you do it though. And you don't know what message or, or, who may need the message that you have to offer the way you offer it. You see what I'm saying? You don't know. Or when you do a personal reading for somebody. Right? These rivalries and competitors may lie about you. They may try. They may try to lie about you. Okay? In order to get you to not do whatever it is. You're, the spiritual. I get very strong, very, very strong spiritual business here. Okay? To get you to not do it. Don't listen to it. Also do not engage in gossip. About other spiritualists either. Okay. Meaning no name dropping. No talking bad. Okay. You say whatever you want in private. But none of that kind of shit. Okay. There are some scammers and frauds out there. And two-bit charlatans. Yes. There are. There's a lot. Okay. Don't be one of them and don't be the don't be the one who is a jealous competitor or rivalry, whether you're big or small, or whether they're big or small, that engages in hateful uh, bashing of other people, other spiritualists, other readers or whatever, okay? Like, you know, targeting people. Like, no, I don't know how to say that. How do I say that, Spirit? Yeah. I guess we would be targeting or bullying or trying to run somebody out of business or ruin their business or something like don't do that kind of shit all right i don't feel like you ever would though so again have your integrity about you have your code of ethics which you will and which you will not do okay and stay true to that and don't let nobody convince you or sway you or tempt you otherwise okay and i feel like you'll be just fine Anything else, please? Wait, oh, let me test it back on. Anything else, please? What's the Six of Pentacles reverse about? Yeah, the calm talks about manipulation. Don't let anybody manipulate you out of your fucking dream. If you want to open up a spiritual business or, you know, I don't know, maybe it's like a candle shop or you're making something. Either you're providing a service, whether it be an energy work, Reiki healing, tarot reading, massage therapy, Reiki stuff, you know, spiritual, spiritualist, fortune telling, whatever it is, okay? Don't let nobody manipulate you out of your dream. Period. Don't, don't let it. Because again, you have no idea what message or, um, you know, service that you provide to somebody that could really, really help someone. Okay? As long as you're doing it with the utmost integrity, with the utmost responsibility, and you have a code of ethics that you follow strictly. Okay? What is this Eight of Pentacles about? You love it. Whatever this is, you're, you're going to love this. You're going to love this business. You're going to love it. You probably already do. Right? You're going to love it. Again, don't let nobody talk you out of it. Please know 
you will have competition. Don't engage in the competition or the competitive competitiveness of it. Okay? Or the gossip. Okay? Don't attack other don't attack nobody else and you'll be just fine. Because again, you have a message that can transform somebody's life in a good way. Right? Again, with greater ability comes an even greater responsibility here. What is this? And you're going to have people, again, you're going to have people who are going to talk shit, okay? Because they're just, whatever. <laughs> they're just being haters. You may, you may even have trolls, but, you know, fuck it. Whatever, right? Ace of Swords reverse. Yeah, look. The beacon. Look. You're going to attract that those type of people because when you're doing good or when you're starting out and you're doing well or you're trying really hard, people, or maybe you're making money with a fish here, you know, you're doing well, whatever it is in any kind of business, but I specifically feel it's in any form of spiritual business. Maybe you're writing spiritual books. Maybe you're doing magic works. Maybe, I don't know, is there's so many different avenues that you can choose for, you can choose from, okay? Whatever it is for you, you love it. You love it. Look at that. You love it. <laughs> you really do. And you're you you love to work and you work very hard at what you do. And you're very good at it. Don't let nobody steal your shine. Okay? Nobody. You keep going. Okay? And whomever this these this rival is this rival this rivalry is or these competitors are, they can all kick rocks. You wish them well, but they can all Go kick rocks. Okay? Because you're the, you're aligned. Okay? And you're meant to shine it. So shine. Shine on you crazy diamond. That's what I just heard in my head. And I'm not saying you're crazy. <laughs> but I'm saying shine on you crazy diamond. It's a Pink Floyd song. Okay? Don't let nobody take that from you, honey. You feel me? Okay. I don't really feel like this needs an extended... But I'm going to see who you could be dealing with and I'll get you some guidance too. Let's see. Before I do that, I feel like there's something else. I feel like I'm missing something. What is this? Okay. Let's see. What else? Hold on. What else do you have for Capricorn, please? Planning and action. Yes. You're making plans. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe you're buying a, a location, a house maybe, and you, this is where you're going to work. I feel like this is so strong with work-related stuff. You're trying to break out of the cycle of the status quo. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you just got to choose a direction, choose a path, and the time is it's either now or it's coming up pretty soon. Well, you'll have to make a decision, okay? But, um, you know, stick to whatever plan. And there, and also, too, um, it's okay to deviate from some of it. It's okay if you have to go back to the drawing board and maybe shift your plan around a little bit. Maybe sometimes you have to scrap it and start over. Sometimes that happens. But that's okay. Just, just you know, keep going. Right? Don't, don't just stay with the status quo. Okay? What else, please, for Capricorn? okay behind a mask intention you have got somebody around you okay what the fuck is this you've got somebody around you that doesn't have proper intentions with you they are hiding something it could be a secret enemy or a secret a secret rival rival i can never say that word right rivalry or rival competitor something like that but they're hiding what's this behind the mask Who's, who, what is this behind the mask, please, for Capricorn? Yeah, conflict. Somebody here is hiding that they have conflict with you or that they want to have a conflict with you or they're, they're jealous or there's a rivalry or there's some type of competition and they're trying to hide it. You have a secret enemy. You have a hater, basically. Well, let's take a look. 
Show me the secret hater. Okay. They're mad because you are highly protected. See? Oh, you are protected from the conflict too. They see your true potential and they are threatened by it. See, I told you. But I told you. <laughs> I'm not trying to be like one of those people that says I told you so, but okay, I told you so. Okay. But don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Fuck them, right? Whatever. Haters gonna hate. Yeah, okay. So they're trying to send you or they're attempting to send you the evil eye, which is basically they're very jealous of you. You see this little necklace? Little eyeball? I got it off like Amazon for like less than 12 bucks. I think it was like five dollars or six dollars you can get one too and just wear it and it will reflect it back return it to sender here on this channel we return things to sender that do not belong to us and this doesn't belong to us capricorn we're sending it back okay so don't sweat it i want you to keep going okay They can stay mad. Whatever. Let's see. Who you could be dealing with. Let's see. Who is Capricorn dealing with regarding this reading, please? Could be a Libra. Taurus. A Pisces. A Gemini. And Leo. Possibly even an Aquarius. So, Capricorn, you could be dealing with... Also, too, I just heard this person may shoot down your ideas a lot. That's why it's so important for you to remain true to the course of whatever that is for you and validate yourself. Don't let this... Do not. Do you hear me? Try your very best. You do what you want, but do not let this person discourage you from your purpose. Okay? So, uh, Capricorn, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini. I have all the air signs here. Taurus, Leo, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in your chart and or in their chart. Combination of the two. You know, because we have a lot of different placements in our chart. Let's see. So, this could be first, middle, last initial of your name, your person's name, whomever this hater's name is. Or haters names are whatever and it can also give you additional words for you know messages what do you got for Capricorn please you got this man woman whomever you are you got it Capricorn you got it don't worry don't worry don't worry I'm bound to win cuz every little bit is <laughs> Be all right. I love that song. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. First letter is A, D, M, R, O, W, E, I think that song is by Bob Marley and I want to say it's Three Little Birds but don't quote me on that I maybe go listen to that song A again <clears throat> T U T I E E F N, L, and N. Okay. Let's see. Guidance. Here we go. Guidance, please, for Capricorns. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I hope you can make it to my freebie Friday. What do you got for Capricorn, please? Guidance, please. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. 
my, I like, I felt a pinch underneath my armpit. Sorry. Or in my armpit. Um, what guidance do you have, please, for Capricorn? Rooted in the reverse. You need to ground your energy, though. That's real important. Okay, straight up. You need to ground. You need to ground. That, I will say, is very important, especially if you're doing spiritual business or work. Like, I probably need to do that tomorrow, actually. I try to do it every day. I probably, like, really need to do it. Like, do it, do it tomorrow. For myself. And it says, grounded in connection. And it's in reverse. It says... Okay. It says, in reverse, rooted is even more significant. Uh, you have lost your way or feel unsafe, unsupported, or in entirely out of body. It can be hard to grow something when you do not have soil to support its foundation. Put your goals aside and take time to create an earth-based practice. Okay? You are an earth sign, after all, Capricorn. You might find that your magic hasn't worked and you're wondering why. This is because the, this piece of the puzzle is missing. This is especially true if you have never consciously grounded before. So that's really important. Add this to your practice and watch yourself grow. Okay. All right, Capricorn, that has been your reading. I love you so much. I Hopefully you'll be there for my freebie Friday on the 16th starting at 730 Eastern Standard Time. Um, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you need a reading, emails below. I love you so much. Take care of yourself. Till next time.